Hi! To create a nicely reusable circular array, add a geometry nodes modifier to your object and click New to create a new node tree. To see the nodes, split your viewport in half and set one side to show the geometry node editor. To array your object in a circle, add a curve circle node and connect it with the geometry socket in the output node. The resolution defines the amount of objects in the array and the radius the position of each object. Add a Instance on Points node and connect the curve circle node to the point socket. Add the geometry socket from the group input to the instance socket. Now we see a nice array of objects, but they are all in the same rotation. Let's make them face towards the center of the circle. Add a normal node and connect it to the rotation socket. This doesn't look right. We have to add a align euler to vector node. Plug the normal socket into the vector socket and define which axis is forward in your object. In my case, it is y. Now it looks perfect. I would like to control the rotation of the object, so I'm adding a vector math node onto the rotation line. Now I can rotate the objects, but the numbers are weird. To make it easier, add a rotation to Euler node and connect it to the vector math node. Now you can define the angle of the rotation. To wrap everything up to be easily reusable, connect your parameters to the group input node. This exposes the parameters in the modifier tab. You can define reasonable default values and even rename the parameters in the group toolbar on the right hand side. Give your node tree a fitting name and then mark it as an asset via right clicking on it. This enables you to drag and drop this setup onto any objects you have in your scenes. Have fun! If you like my tutorials, visit my Patreon.